Do you want to get ahead at work? Do you want to show off and be the GOAT? Let's find out what would impress your boss or work situation with tarot. So you're going to pick whichever deck is drawing your attention the most for this reading. Um, let's take a moment together and tap into the energy of this reading. So we'll just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath with me. Hmm. Okay. Bringing your attention here with me now. Um, and pick whichever deck is drawing on your intuition, okay? So for pile one, we have this deck. It's very colorful. It's not traditional, okay? Very loud. <laughs> for pile two, we have the Rider weight deck. So I'm sure you've seen this one before. Okay. And this is what the back looks like. And then for pile three, um, this deck. This one is in Spanish. Okay. It's got, um, Santa Maria. So, yeah. Pick whichever deck is drawing your intuition or attention the most at this time. If you want to take a moment and pause the video to pick, feel free to do that. And when you're ready, click on the timestamp in the description bo box to go to your reading. Welcome, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. Let's find out what would impress your boss. Um, yeah, what would make you stand out? What would make you look like the greatest of all time? So pile ones, what would impress your boss? And if you work for yourself or in a small business or something like that, just translate boss to your customers, whoever your business serves, because that is essentially your boss. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, so we have the high priestess. Interesting. The tower in reverse, the hierophant in reverse, and the six of beasts. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is they really like when you make your own decisions, when you follow your own guidance system, so when you kind of take initiative, you know, when you feel like there's something that needs to be done or you feel a call to do something and you follow it. Um, if you're watching pick a cards, I mean, you're tapped into your intuition already. So actually using your intuition in your work situation is very valuable. Okay. The thing that they also appreciate though, is being slow to change. So no sweeping changes, no pulling the rug out from any, anyone, no huge shifts at once. They want you to be careful. They just want you to go, you know, act from your own accord. They don't want, it impresses them when they don't have to tell you a lot or they don't have to be on you to do things. You're just kind of going for it. You know what I'm saying? With the Hierophant in reverse, in reverse um, again, it's that energy of really following your own guidance system, really going off and doing what you feel needs to be done or what you feel is the right thing to do. That's what really impresses them. That's what makes them see you as very successful, very um, good at what you're doing, very confident. Okay, they like that initiative, like a little bit of boldness, just not in a way that, not in a way that would cause a tower moment, right? Not in a way that causes a huge unseen change, anything wildly unexpected, they're iffy about. They like things to move in a slow progression, but they like to see you take the lead, take the charge, okay? We'll pull a couple more from this deck. Um, the world. Yeah. They like to see you be able to complete a task without too much input. Okay. Complete whatever you need to do without requiring, um, too much of their feedback. So I would say like, ask a lot of questions before you start something. If you perceive that you're going to need a lot of input, try to get those questions out at the beginning. So you're not constantly going back to them. That'll impress them more. You know what I'm saying?
We have the Queen of Cups. Oh my gosh. Look at this card. It's so dominatrix. Um, so your boss wants you to dom them. Just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. So with this, with this Queen of Cups, like I'm feeling like it's a similar kind of thing, that boldness to go with what you're feeling, what you're feeling needs to be done. Trust your own intuition when you have questions. Um, keep the important things, you know, ask those, obviously, but being able to make your own decisions is really valued by your employer or whatever work situation you're in, your boss. Okay, so we're going to pull some other cards. I'm not really sure which ones. Let's do these. Let's do the animal cards. Okay, so what would impress your boss? I might also do, like, what already is impressing your boss. You know, so you know what you're you're already good at. Um, let's see, what would impress your boss? I know half my decks are flipped like all the time. Okay. What would impress your boss? Hmm. Tend to the small things. Okay, we have the mouse spirit. So yeah, like just kind of quietly taking care of things, right? Doing what you need to do in a way that doesn't require too much of their focus and attention. Okay? And like detail oriented, like those kind of things are good. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure, like, <laughs> I don't know, I guess when you do things with an energy of love or joy or excitement, I would say, you know what I mean? When you take on that kind of like lightness with your work, love is all around. I would not expect that to come up in a reading like this. Um, let's clarify it. Let's see if we can get a specific. I'll use this deck. What is this love is all around <laughs> in regards to your boss? Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, I'm kind of getting like spontaneously going for the things that need to be done in a safe way. You know, hopefully this is making sense. I feel like it probably is. So let's see, what are you doing right already? What is your boss already or your work situation already admiring about what you're doing? How are you already the goat? Your spirit of wisdom, okay? So they already value your wisdom. They think you have the mind to be able to take care of things already. And shaman of purification. Okay, so I'm getting there's like a level of trust that's already been established um, with you and your boss. They, they don't feel like they have to second guess you. Like there's clearness to your relationship, purity to your relationship with them. Except for maybe the one of you where your boss wants you to fall in love with them and dom them. <laughs> Maybe that resonates, I don't know. <laughs> um, so we're going to pull one more of these for how can you impress your boss, one of these crystal cards. What energy can you bring to the table? Okay, we'll take all three, I guess. I was only going to do one, but... Rainbow Mayanite. Okay. Selenite. and Bumblebee Jasper. So with the Rainbow Myonite and the Selenite, again, I'm getting being connected to your own guidance system, being connected and like clear on what needs to be done, okay? Being very clear. And with Bumblebee Jasper, I'm getting as well really grounded work. So similar to this mouse spirit, tending to the small things, tending to the important details, um, kind of learning what is important to your boss and then taking charge of those things on your own. You know what I'm saying? So if you need to do a little bit of discovery with them, a little bit of questioning, um, do that and then 
as much as you can to take charge of the situations you can on your own. And they're really going to value that for you, you for that, the more you kind of have your own initiative to do things. So this is what I'm seeing for you, Pow One. Let me know if it resonates, how it goes for you in the comments. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this reading. I thought it was pretty cool. So <laughs> um, subscribe to my video and I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out. Homies. Time to be the goat. Impress your fucking boss. No one like you. You the fucking boss. You the fucking boss. Yeah, you the fucking boss. Welcome pal to you. Welcome to your reading. If you pick the Rider Waite deck, then you are in the right place. Let's find out what your, what would impress your boss or your employer or specific work situation. So yeah, let's go. What would impress your bro boss? Your boss pal to you. Sometimes speaking is hard, hey? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Wands with the Three of Cups in Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so right away what I'm seeing with this Knight of Wands facing the um, Nine of Swords is they appreciate your focus and attention on their thoughts. So having you listen to what they need or what they're saying or what they're working on as well is very valuable um, to your employer or your boss here. Like they kind of want your energy, your work energy, focused on their worries, focused on what they're thinking about, what's stressing them out. If you see these two cards, right? Um, and then with the Three of Cups in Reverse, uh, they value someone who's very serious, okay? They value seeing you, like, you know, really, like, I'm getting, like, really seriously taken what they have to say, really seriously look like you're considering everything. Um, they value seriousness more than joy, more than playfulness, okay? They're not, like, they're not the type to be like, yeah, let's joke around much. Um, they value when, when you look like you're very dedicated to your work, Okay? And with this Ace of Pentacles, um, good ideas really impress them, okay? New ideas, innovative ideas, good ideas are very impressive to them. They like to connect with you in the cerebral mental plane. You know what I'm saying? So what they're thinking about and what you're thinking about is kind of where it's at. They like your acknowledgement. What would impress your boss? Yeah, with the star, I'm getting like your ideas, really your ideas, seeing that you're thinking about the future, you're thinking ahead, um, big picture thinking is what this boss really likes or this employer really likes. Forward thinking, innovative. And they like you to use this to like solve their problems a little bit. <laughs> With this star, just, just where it's kind of placed, I'm getting this star like bridging your action power and your mental power into kind of like solving what they're worried about. So this is kind of an interesting situation. They want a lot of your focus, okay? Interesting. And then we have the Five of Swords. So it impresses them to see you, like, come up on top of things, um, to be the one with more in a situation. So if you, like, take an idea from someone or something like that, this, this boss will be impressed by that. I'm gonna clarify. That feels shady to me, but... You know, I mean, a lot of good ideas are stolen, to be honest. You know, we overhear something and then... So... Two of Cups. Okay, so they like an element here of collaboration. Um, but kind of like taking the collaboration and using it first. You know what I mean? Being the one to put it into action, they are very impressed by that. Okay, they don't... They... They want to see you come up with ideas and use them or use other people's ideas from collaboration 
Um, yeah. So we'll pull some more cards. Um, we're going to do what is already impressing your boss about you. Um, you know, just to kind of hype you up. Like, what are you already doing well? What are they already impressed by? Dancer of inspiration. Okay, so they already think that you're very inspired and inspiring. They already see the seeds of this, um, like, great ideas, forward-thinking mind, all that. They already see that in you, okay? An ancestor of illusion. Interesting. You're good at illusions? Like, what do you do for work, Vile 2? <laughs> Are you a magician? Um, let's, <laughs> let's clarify. I'm going to use the other deck because we already have all these, yeah, all these cards out. Um, let me clarify this illusion here. Getting like how you tell a story or how you present an idea, how you spin an idea, if there's like talking or presenting in your work, um, how you share. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, same energy. So we have the two of cups in reverse. Okay. And the nine of swords here. Maybe you cover for their worries really well, or you cover their fears really well, you cover their anxieties really well. Uh, that's kind of what I'm getting. Let me know if that resonates. Okay, we'll see what else impresses this boss, this employer. What impresses your boss? I should just flip all these over. Okay. Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. And koala spirit, spirit has a plan. Okay, so they like to see like a really forward thinking plan. They like to see when you're well planned out, and when you're carefully considering the different angles of a problem. So they like to see your mind being very active and um, focused here. There's someone that will appreciate if you spend more time in the planning and the perfecting of an idea than the action. You know what I mean? Like making sure it's perfect and then taking action is what they value versus just like taking the action. And then we're going to pull one more um, crystal card. So what impresses your boss? I'm honestly like so curious what you do for work because like my imagination's pretty wild. Sometimes I'm like, do you work in the mafia? I don't know why that makes sense, but <laughs> maybe it's just an office job. Like, are you a gardener? I don't know. You could be anything, dude. <laughs> Maybe I'll pull cards later. Like, what did Pile 2 do for work? Okay. Let's see. As a to light and smoky quartz celestial. So yeah, they really like when you are prepared for the negative things, prepared for what could go wrong. And you know what I mean? Making contingency plans, making sure that everything is as perfect as it can be, okay? They like a really solid plan, a really solid, clear plan, something that considers possible problems, obstacles, and challenges, and how to address those things. So that's what I'm seeing for you, pile two. Um, let me know if it resonated in the comments. If you enjoyed this reading, hopefully it gave you some insight into what you can do to impress your boss. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Welcome, Pile 3. Let's find out what would impress your boss or employer or work situation. So what would impress your boss? Um, Pile 3. Yay. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. 
So they like it when you have a lot of action power, when you're very, like, full forced on a task, full of energy. Okay, we have the 11 of, the 11 of, the strength card in reverse. There is no 11. Um, well, it's 11. I'll show you the card. We have strength in reverse. Um, so yeah, so they like when you're not hard to work with, okay? When you're open to ideas, when you're open to change, when you're open to input, um, they don't want you to be really, like, firm, you know, in what you're going to do. They want you to be changeable, agreeable, flexible. King of Cups. Okay, they appreciate someone who's really balanced with their emotions. They don't really want to deal with, like, you being upset. Okay, someone who's on top of this emotional world. Very clear-minded. Okay, they like when you're like a forward thinker, when you have a lot of ideas for the future, when you're innovative and community-oriented. So when you're focused on what would do well for the whole business or for the whole um, team, if you work in a team or something like that. Um, they like that, and they like innovation, okay? They don't want to apply too much energy um, into working with you, you know what I mean? So they don't want to have to, like, conflict with you. They don't want to have to fight with you. They don't want anything like that. They just want you to, like, take your action power, do what needs to be done, and, you know, when you have good ideas, when you're thinking about the community, the future, give them, share them. Those will really impress them as well. Okay. And that's from the star. I don't know if I called out the cards. We have the King of Cups and the star. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So they like you to move quickly. Okay. They're more impressed when you move with a little bit of speed than when you're slow. This is not someone who requires, okay, an ace of um, wands in reverse. They also, they don't want to see, like, too much, again, too much emotion, too much passion, too much fire from you. They want a very, like, cold relationship, is kind of what I'm getting. They want to, they don't really want to have to connect to you, like, emotionally or friendly. Sorry, my camera, um, cut out there, so... Yeah, they don't want to have to be connected to you in a in an emotional way. They want a distant work relationship. Very ordered, you know what I'm saying. I feel like you probably understand this vibe. Yeah, they want you to have a lot of action power, but they don't really want to see your energy. They don't want you to need a lot of support. They want you to be very, like, subdued, honestly. And generous with your time, generous with your energy. Okay, so what are you already doing that's impressing them? How are you already impressing your boss? We have the Hunter of Death, interesting, and the Hunter of Gifts. Okay, so they feel like you're really um, open to change. You're open to changing your ideas, you're open to changing your course, and they see you as being very talented as well, okay? They see that you have a lot of very valuable talents that can be of service, um, and they appreciate how you can kind of transform the way you work, you can transform um, what you're doing very easily. They find you very easy to work with. And again, like I said, they see a lot of talents in you. They see you as someone who is kind of going for um, new skills as well, which they like. Like if this is the kind of work where they would provide training for you or extra schooling or something to help you out, I'm seeing that this, this boss would be interested in doing that um, at some point.
Okay, so be at home. <laughs> maybe you work at home. <laughs> For some of you, maybe you work from home or whatever. They like that. I'm getting, though, it's just like when you're very grounded, easy to work with, stable, orderly, not very emotional, like, you know, kind of like an earth sign, right? And we'll see. Yeah, one more. Okay, not this card. It doesn't want to flip, so I'm going to take that as a no. One more. We have this panther spirit, reclaim your power. So yeah, with the panther, like I'm getting like a very quiet powder power, right? The panther kind of stalks, it's at night, it hides in the trees, like it's very stealthy, but powerful. And that's what they like, okay? They like to not have to like be too focused on you. And we'll pull one more of these. <laughs> So what? Ooh, Chrissy Cola. So again, balanced emotions and truth, honesty. Okay, they don't want, they want clarity. They don't want someone they have to second guess, worry too much about, stress too much about. They're very impressed when you provide clarity, when you're upfront, when you're honest and to the point. Good communication. And Rhoda's I they like when you can work with others as well. When they see you collaborating, that really impresses them. Again, this being generous with your spirit, generous with your time, generous with your energy, that really impresses your boss. So this is what I'm seeing for you, Pile Threes. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if it resonated with you. If you want to, um, subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful life journey. Good luck impressing your boss. You got this. And I'll see you in the next reading.